Help. Engaged. Greetings everyone. In this episode, I will first show you a 2 minute strategy, on how to beat Sahelanthropus, at extreme difficulty. After that, I will show another fight with Sahelanthropus, which will show you how to deal with all its various attacks, as well as on how to complete all related mission tasks. As you may have noticed, this is what Snake will be wearing, as he can take more damage, and is more likely to survive mortal wounds, with this setup, but you can get away with wearing basic camouflage too. The only important thing you will need for this strategy, is a fully maxed out rocket launcher, preferably this one. So, first thing, run up next to this electricity pylon. This pylon will be your best friend, throughout this fight, and you will soon see why. Next, call in an ammo supply drop, on your position, otherwise, as soon as you run out of ammo for your launcher, the game automatically sends a supply drop, to some far away, tactically unsafe location. Next, introduce Sahelanthropus to your rocket launcher. of ammo, but have no fear, our supply drop should be here any second now. Remember to keep calling in supply drops, ideally, as soon as you pick up the last one. This is its weak spot, and a lock on is the best way to hit it. But at relatively close distances, a lock-on is not really required, since a fair amount of damage can be done, no matter where you hit the fracker. Based on that performance, they should change his name from Sahelanthropus to Sahelanthro Pussy. <laughs> Stop being such a pussy! Exactly. Amazing. Mission complete. That right there is why you're the best, boss. The one and only. Although it says 1 minute, 48 seconds, I actually took only 1 minute, 35 seconds, from the time I took control of Snake to the time I defeated Sahelanthro Pussy. But all kidding aside, he is actually quite a formidable opponent, if you give him half a chance. Something I didn't do, in that first fight, but in order to show tactics on how to avoid his attacks, and to do the additional mission tasks, I will change my rocket launcher, to this badass sniper rifle. This is a semi-automatic anti-material sniper rifle, and does effectively more damage per second, than any other sniper rifle in the game even though it is slightly less powerful than the Brennan sniper rifle. I beat him so quickly, that I did not have a chance to explain, why the pylon is your best friend, during this fight. Well, after the initial damage it takes, the pylon becomes indestructible, and it deflects most of Sahelanthropus's attacks. In this upcoming fight, which is considerably longer than the first one, we will see many examples of such deflections. So, same tactics as before, in other words, run up to your best friend, the pylon, and then order a supply drop. Back up. It might seem like a futile attack, but it isn't. The damage all adds up in the end. Anyway, when you hear that whirring sound, it means the flame attack is imminent. Flame attacks are one thing the pylon does not deflect very well. So try to get some distance between you and the flames. If you are using the pylon as cover, move slightly away from it, 
to avoid taking damage. When he gets his sword out, like this, a ground spike attack is imminent, and the best way to avoid it is to start sprinting away from the impact point, and of course, the impact point will be where you were standing, when the sword hit the ground, and since these ground spikes tend to follow you for a while, keep moving until you hear the attack stop. But don't wander too far from the pylon, also, the ground spikes tend to explode after a short while, so keep your distance from them, whenever possible. See? The machine gun attack was deflected by the pylon. Yet another ground spike attack. As explained earlier, that whirring sound means a flame attack is about to happen, so move away from the pylon, since flame damage can still occur. And what the hell is up with the positioning of the flamethrower? It looks like a giant robot d and with fire shooting out of it, it reminds me of an old Eddie Murphy joke, from his raw stand-up routine. Let me get this right, you're getting a burning sensation when you urinate? No fire shoot out my d Anyway, I'm sure you get the idea. If necessary, you can cause ground spikes to explode quicker, simply by shooting them, but this is best done with a fully automatic weapon. Sahelanthropus has two types of rocket attacks. The one we are about to see is the direct rocket attack. You can either shoot down the rockets or run sideways to avoid them. Probably best to use a combination of both techniques. There's also a hover rocket attack, which occurs here I think, but more about that attack later. This was a little unfortunate, but funny, nonetheless. No! But no harm was done. Perhaps a little to Snake's ego, but anyway, this red mist visibility attack is easily countered by equipping your night vision goggles.
Sao Philanthropus, also has an encircling ground spike attack, and there seems to be no way to avoid it. So you just have to shoot your way out, before the spikes explode. This is a good trick to use. When he does his linear ground spike attack, you can lead it towards him, so when the spikes explode, he takes some damage too. So that was a hover rocket attack, followed by a direct rocket attack. Things are really heating up now. Okay, so this is a hover, rocket attack in action. The rockets first hover in the air, and then when they find their target, they home in, and explode. So it's best to just shoot them out of the sky, especially if they are about to attack the helicopter. Okay, now this is where things get serious, because we are about to face its railgun attack, which can kill you with one hit, so make sure you take cover, behind your best friend. Specifically, at one of the corners, because sometimes the railgun attack can get through, but if you are at the corners, no damage is done. told you the pylon was your best friend. Towards the end of the fight, things get really crazy, so I switched the night vision goggles on, to make sure the hover rocket attacks don't sneak up on me. You see, in two previous attempts, I died right near the end, because I didn't realize the hover rockets were in the air. In fact, if you listen carefully, the rockets just went up in the air now, but I didn't see them going up, so was unprepared to deal with them by shooting them down. So avoiding them is the only option, and one way to do that is to run between Sahelanthropus's legs. That's right, use the fracker as cover. So here's something you may not have realized. When I order a supply drop, I am actually using a shortcut. You see, while on the map screen, 
by pressing the up arrow on the controller three times, I have cycled to the option for an ammo supply drop. This is a good way to minimize the risk you put yourself under, when you go into the iDroid menu, while in combat. Okay, here's another crucial stage. When things slow down, and saw Halanthropus jumps towards you, up close and personal, with a rail gun pointed at your head, look for the floating boy, and then shoot him. This not only stops the up close rail gun attack, but also stuns Saw Halanthropus for a short while, giving you an opportunity to shoot at its head, and complete a mission task. Shooting the floating boy is also a mission task. Yep, we just destroyed his head. Oops, looks like I forgot to call in a supply drop. But with things being so frantic, it's not really all that surprising. Where's my ammo? It seems I picked up everything except the ammo that mattered the most. Typical. You see, the problem is, that I died twice at this stage, right before I nearly killed the fracker. So I was expecting something to go wrong again. And would you believe it, I go and sabotage myself. I tried to equip the night vision goggles, but got the cardboard box instead. Frankly, it's a miracle that I didn't die there. Finally, got that fracker at last. Third time lucky I guess. Tell stories about this one, boss. As you can see, all the mission tasks are complete. Obviously, it is easier to use a rocket launcher, but this victory seemed more satisfying somehow, whereas the first one seemed a bit hollow, almost like I was cheating. Anyway, that's all we've got time for, so if you liked this video, or found it helpful, then please comment, 
thumbs up and subscribe. This is Blade, and it's goodbye from me.